Senator David Long perhaps said it best when during a press conference yesterday, he described this week as providing humbling moments. The Religious Freedom Restoration Act, also known as RIFRA, sailed through the legislature with little fanfare. There were some rallies and Democrats did offer some amendments, but it wasn't until Governor Mike Pence signed the legislation into law a week ago Thursday that the firestorm started to erupt. On Sunday, Pence went on ABC's This Week with George Stephanopoulos to respond to the criticism. This is not about discrimination. This is but, about empowering people let me to try confront to pin you, government let me try to pin overreach, you down George. There, though, on it because your supporters say it would. And so, so yes or no, if a florist in Indiana refuses to serve a gay couple uh, at their wedding, is that legal now in Indiana? George, this is this is where this debate has gone with with misinformation and uh, frankly, it's just a question, sir. Yes so, or no? Well, well, this, there's been shameless rhetoric about my state and about this law and about its intention all over the internet. People are trying to make it about one particular issue, and now you're doing that as well. Well, that sparked another outcry and forced the governor and the legislature to take swift action. State House reporter Brandon Smith explains what changes lawmakers made to the law this week. On Tuesday, Governor Mike Pence directed lawmakers to pass legislation before the end of the week, making clear that RIFRA does not allow discrimination. I'm calling on the General Assembly to send me a bill that focuses on the issue here, that focuses on frankly, the smear that's been leveled against this law and against the people of Indiana. But Democrats quickly shot back, saying a clarification wasn't enough. Because right now, if they're going to take a Band-Aid approach, um, there's not a lot of confidence that they're going to get it right. The only practical solution is to repeal the whole thing. Among the Republican supermajority, that idea didn't have much support. And by the next day, GOP leaders had worked out the kind of language the governor was looking for. RIFRA was amended to say the law does not allow anyone to refuse services to anyone for a host of reasons, including sexual orientation or gender identity. Indiana is open for business. We welcome everyone. We discriminate against no one. For the first time ever, the words sexual orientation and gender identity appear in the Indiana statute, or they will, after this law is passed, in the context of non-discrimination. The legislature passed the change, and the governor gave it his approval, saying he believes resolving the controversy and making it clear that every person feels welcome and respected is best for Indiana. But the changes sparked another debate. Did the fix really solve anything? There are advantages to doing it fast in terms of being able to, quote unquote, move on and uh, get the final four going. You know, let's get Indiana off the front page news. But doing it right is what Hoosiers elected us to do. I think in this bill we have a strong positive statement that really does express the core of Hoosier belief. I'm worried that the people of the state of Indiana are going to think that if we pass this, that it now is illegal throughout the entire state of Indiana to discriminate against persons based upon sexual orientation or gender identity. And this document, this so-called fix, let's be crystal clear, let's be honest with the people. This does not do that. The solution is very simple. Repeal this law. Secondly, put clear civil rights protections in place. But that's not something Governor Pence supports. He says giving LGBTQ protected status is an issue separate from RIFRA. GOP leaders say they're open to the discussion, but wouldn't commit to debating it next year, saying their focus is getting through this legislative session.